Check this out. Do you want to see that in slow motion? This is the drawer of the bandsaw box and you can just see how it just, it totally mangled it getting caught up in there. So I've looked at that footage over and over again and tried to figure out what went wrong and ultimately I can come down to one thing. This is one crappy bandsaw. I think the main problem was this little plastic insert. I think what was happening is there's, it's just not strong enough to support that downward pressure when I'm cutting through a piece of wood that thick. So I think what happened was that this broke away, causing that box to just drop down in there, which it shouldn't have. Luckily, I'm all right. I mean, I was wearing all my safety gear and actually a bandsaw is a pretty safe tool because the blade is always just running down and that's why you could get really close up to it. So when that happened, you know, you just let go. It did scare the crap out of me when it happened, but you know, I was fine. From day one, when I got this saw and set it up, I was thinking, this just doesn't seem right. This thing, the way this is built, the way things to go together, it's very difficult to set it up. It's very difficult to get it aligned. I've never been happy with this. So this is that Harbor Freight Central Bishidri one. I mean, my first thought was just to make a new insert out of wood or even just make like a zero clearance table on top of that table. That would have worked, but you know, I just don't want to mess with this saw. It's just too much of a hassle. So after that event happened, I took apart this saw again and tried to figure out if there was maybe something else going on that was a problem. And there was a couple of things. One, this lower bearing didn't stay in place. It was way to the back and the two blade guides weren't even close to the blade anymore. So that had moved. And another problem, this has been an ongoing problem with this machine is that this won't stay put. And this is one of the reasons it was taking me so long yesterday to set this up is that it, I just couldn't tighten it down. And this saw for some reason decides to have bolts on here instead of just knobs. So you have to get a wrench or a pair of pliers. A lot of people didn't like that I used pliers on this to tighten these things down. So I thought, well, maybe I could just tighten this down a little better and the head of that bolt just came off. <laughs> so now that now I've got just threaded bolt inside of there. I'm not gonna be able to tighten that down. <sighs> you know, I'm just, I am not a tool guy. Tools really don't interest me at all. What I could do with the tools interests me. It's kind of like a computer. I don't really care to know how the computer works or try to spend my time trying to get it to work. I just need it to work. And it's the same with my tools. But let me put it this way, I've bought, my whole shop is filled with inexpensive tools and I've never had any problem with using any of them with the exception of one time when I bought a that really cheap Ryobi table saw to test it out and I got it out of the package, set it up and I never even cut a board on it. It was so scary looking because it was so cheap that I just sent it back. It was nothing I was ever gonna use. And other than that, this is the only tool that has ever been just so bad, it's not worth using. It's not worth fixing. This thing's just gonna go straight to the dump. I wouldn't even want to you know, give this to somebody really because it's just gonna be nothing but trouble. So I don't know if I'm gonna be buying a new bandsaw anytime soon. I'm definitely putting that on the back burner because I, when you look through the prices of those things to get you know a decent one, you're gonna spend over seven $700 maybe. I mean, if you have any recommendations, let me know of an affordable bandsaw, but man, that is an expensive tool and it's just not something I use that much. It's not something that really fits within the format of woodworking for mere mortals. So I don't really want to invest a lot of money in a bandsaw. Central machinery, this thing's going in the trash. A lot of people were asking me about how Bubbles is doing with her hurdle trading and it's doing really good, but I don't know if I, it just feels weird if I show that now on this video. So I'll do that on my next video. She's doing really well though. She actually jumped fifth level. See you guys later.